Those are big questions. Those questions are very long. And our son is just volatile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then you came to Polokani. Facebook. What's up? You, you came to Polokani in June 2017. <laughs> I never thought of it, so one day I'll be my Those are big questions. Guys, those are big questions. Those questions are very long. And our son is just volatile. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, anytime you can come for the tripod. We'll okay. come back to you guys on this question. Oh, actually, our love journey is actually one of our biggest testimonies. To actually, be honest with you, actually, mm, yeah, like we we met in two thousand and eight. Yes. <laughs> Did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> we met in two thousand and eight. Um, got really became really close friends two thousand and nine ten. Um, and then like we fell apart. We grew apart. I Yo. guess. 2010. Come on, bring it on. Um, Actually, that is our love journey and testimony. We were friends. We're done. Okay, yes, it's both. So I think our love journey is our testimony. Um, I definitely think um, we were meant to be together. I think God really made um, a way for this relationship. Mm. Um, yeah, we're meant to be together, man. God put us together. So what is the story? 2008, we meet at church. Um, we then, I guess, engage in a really, like, friendship kind of vibes, which gets really close, 2009-10. Um, and then life happened, and we just grew apart. Um, I left for varsity, and I was like, I think I cut ties with a lot of people in Bulobani, actually, but he was one of them for um, interesting reasons. I don't know if you want us to disclose, but it's fine. What's that? <laughs> Guys, um jolo. Um jolo. Very um interesting. Um jolo. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, we just, just we grew apart. I liked him then, to be honest, 2010. Um, and he happened to be in another relationship, and I think I was just hacked. Like, ah! ah. You know what? Like you don't like me. Um, so yeah, so we, we grew apart. We allowed time to be time. <laughs> time just was time. You know what I'm saying? Life was happening in between. Yeah, I, I time. didn't try and be in two relationships at the same <laughs> no, time. No, 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 no. Clearly He's not. I was not that guy. brother. He's a faithful guy. Oh, glory to Jesus. Like, thank you. <laughs> we bless you, Lord. Grace. Thank you that my wife can say that. <laughs> so yes, me. yeah, no. Um, 2011, 12, 13, we're apart. Wow, 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 wow. Continue. Wow, Titanic. Um, come, my boy. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. He couldn't help it, guys. He couldn't help it. He wanted to be part of the video. Oh, you want mommy? Look up to daddy. What's up? Wow. <laughs> There's a foreign aroma. <laughs> Anyways, so. From um, somebody. So 2011, 12, 13 go by, nothing. 2014 happens. At that time, I was being pursued by someone else, um, and then um, yeah, that ended because I was like, God, is this something you want for us? No, okay, cool. Um, and then one day, vacation June, I just woke up with Manda on my heart, like pressingly so. <laughs> so I messaged him Blush. on Facebook. Like, hey, how are you doing? It's been a while, you know, and mind you, I'd been ignoring him for a while because Banka Pili. Um, yeah, we just started chat. I think we chatted, but we were in different areas and network and whatever. The holiday finished without me seeing him, but when we like started talking again, we just like connected like it was, we never had any pause in our relationship or friendship. No. Um, by then, my other relationship. Yeah, but then his other relationship had ended, so I got better with you know, no shady stuff. Ah, this um, lady is powerful. Right? Powerful. <laughs> Nothing shady. The Lord is with this lady. <clears throat> yeah, no, the Lord is with me. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, wow, wow. Oh yeah, we chatted, and then things just Falling blossomed the from there. Yeah, 2014, 2015. So quickly in 20. 2015 June, that's when he was like, girl, I likes you. Um, I don't just like you, I love you, but it's okay if you don't love me back, you know. Um, then we took, I think, a season of about six months where I just felt like, personally, 
you know not, not in the place i was not in the place i was not in the place to be in a relationship i didn't feel a release but also i think my heart was just like healing from um other stuff you know so yeah then we dated in 20 De december but i think something that we both agreed on was we're in this any relationship we get into this was when we were still just friendshiping in 2014 any relationship we get you know into, this so well i'm just i know like, deeply yeah what, what did I say? like oh so deep <laughs> Um, any relationship we get into is for marriage. That's something mm. I said and I had promised myself um, going forward. And that's something he had said to himself. And we had discussed that once as like when we're just friendshiping, by the way. Like, hey, whatever relationship I get into next, like I'm single, yes, but uh, it's for the glory of God, it's for mm. marriage. You know, we're not going to do any playing around. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's our love journey. Yeah. 2018, 2017. Mm. Wait, we dated from 2015, 16, 16, 16, 16, 17, that's when you sent the letter, December, yeah. and 18. The letter for the Lobola. Yes, me. not like, do you love me? <laughs> 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 the Lobola letter to my family. Yeah. Um, yeah, then we had Mamaro and everything was sorted out. Mamaro is the Lobola. in Chibenda. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. We've yeah. been married since September. September. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are. That's Still our standing. That's our biggest testimony. Yeah, I think. No, I think that's our biggest testimony, and that's a love journey. Yes. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. Yes. If you want more, <laughs> you can come and see us. <laughs> DM us. <laughs> yeah, you can DM us. Yeah, you can DM us. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Uh, I think that's. Um, the three and a half years of, of, of dating has been interesting. It's been interesting in the sense that we, we, you know, we're still trying to learn to know each other, you know, understand each other. And that was not very easy, you know. It was very complicated. And um, I learned a lot about myself in the process, you know, the things that I needed to get rid of. So, so it was an interesting journey. It was not easy. That three and a half years of dating it was for me personally it was not in fact for both of us it was not easy because there were there were a lot of misunderstandings you know you know because um relationships about two people from different background different beliefs different standards coming together so obviously there bound to be a clash there so that was that's what was happening so three and a half years was challenging for me i really didn't enjoy those three and a half years but marriage, oh, marriage for me is the best. I'm enjoying my marriage more than anything. These seven years of marriage has been nothing but bliss, you know. Born again, the Garden of Eden, amen. Flow with milk and honey. <laughs> okay, so I joined the church in 2009, right? And then when I got there, we were just, he was my youth leader, actually. He was my youth leader because I came in the youth first before I joined the church. Mm -hmm. Then, a few years down the line, in 2014, 2014, I believe. He started noticing each other. No, he started noticing me. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed him. I just saw him as my leader. Honestly speaking, because, you know, I saw him as this perfect youth leader who does nothing wrong. He was too perfect for me. So that's why I didn't even think of him as, as a boyfriend or a possible future husband. So when he noticed me, then he prayed about it, then he went to our pastors because that's what we normally do in our church. We first consult our pastors before we get into a, into a relationship. Yes. So before a guy approaches a lady, um, he would normally speak to the pastors, seek counseling, and normally we'd be advised to pray about it. And our pastors would also pray with him throughout the time of fasting. And after he's done fasting and he's 100% sure that this is the lady for him, then um, he would approach the lady. Mm -hmm. So after he was done with his fasting and everything, that was in March 2014, then he approached me. And again, like I said before, it was a shock for me because this guy is like too perfect and I never even thought about him. So when he did approach me, um, asking, you know, the things that needs to be asked, <laughs> then I said to him, um, if you feel, yes, I said to him, if he really feels that I am the wife for him then i also would like to have the opportunity to pray and seek the lord myself in terms of this relationship so he was fine with it he said he will wait and then he waited for seven months, seven months, <laughs> he waited for seven months. Seven months. so only, seven years. 
Yeah, I needed to be sure because I always say to the Lord, my first boyfriend must be my husband. And I didn't want to make a mistake. I didn't want to, you know, mess that up. So um, in October, well, end of September actually, I got back to him. And then on the 2nd of, no, on the 4th of October, we went on our first date and that was official. So he waited a whole seven months. So that's like a premature baby. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, after that, we started dating. Well, we went also to ask permission from my parents mm -hmm. first before we could date. Then, um, as you know, we got engaged the next year and we got married four months after that. And now we're married for almost five years. We're still, we're still friends even now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we used to speak about a lot of things. I could tell him everything. Oh, yes, even every little secret. What? Oh, I don't know why I told him, but I did, you know. Yes, so we shared almost everything. We didn't know that one day we will get married. We didn't know even uh, uh, that one day we will date. So, um, yeah. That's how we started. Yeah, that's how that's how he started. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of how one day I was. He can be my husband, but it happened. Mm -hmm. Then, then when, 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 when he came, uh, let's say to ask you out, then what, I, what happened to you? I was kind of shocked and happy at the same time. I was like, oh, okay, at least I know this guy. It's mm -hmm. not like those kind of guys, you know. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. because um, he's a very good guy. He's Come a very me. good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie. Yeah, he's blushing. He's a very good guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. a very quiet person, but nowadays he's too good. <laughs> when I met him, he wasn't talking a lot, but we used to talk uh, every day for almost an hour. It began 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours. Wow. <laughs> so it was a journey, yeah? Yeah, yeah. it was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> and from, from your side, what was happening to you when you started to talk to her? Uh, uh, special because she's saying that you were just having conversation randomly. And especially the time when she started to pour out to you. And you're like, okay, I think, uh, let, oh, let, me, let me answer it this way. They were probably two things which ignited conversation or mm -hmm. <laughs> there were mm -hmm. two instances the first one which i remember was i was not around because i'm always at church and she was like where are you mm -hmm. uh, why are you not at church mm -hmm. that was the first one and there was another time where she began asking me some questions so those two Conversations, there was also some other stuff in between, but mm -hmm. and part of me speaking to her is like, Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I like, Oh, that also helped her mm -hmm. to spark it because I was like, Oh, that also helped spark it because I was like, Yeah, that's what made me talk to her more because mm -hmm. I didn't want to create a bad impression or I'm, 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 I'm being rude, so that's what ignited the conversations mm -hmm. and uh, funny enough yeah the time grew that the core thing is is a, is actually i don't know whether to call it america mm -hmm. but some i won't mention it since but some <laughs> <laughs> network network uh, uh, but really a mistake somewhere oh, okay. so i paid for something so that i could call but it didn't finish I just kept on calling, calling, calling <laughs> every day for over six months. No? You so I could call her anytime for free. Oh, I paid subscription for something yes. so that I could call people oh. on the same network. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I didn't be some charge, you know, for Namaha. I think oh. first month I paid, second month I paid, then Yano Karan. Yeah, we were free the whole time. Uh, free. Yeah, Come on now. Uh, any time of the day, <laughs> I could call her. Uh, I was calling her any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm. Okay, okay, maybe um, uh, finish up with then towards the the, 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 the wedding or the marriage, uh, the dating part. What happened and when did you propose? You know, and how was the proposal? The experience and all experience until marriage. Until you got married. <laughs> That's a that's a that's a uh, very easy but okay. not so easy question. <laughs> no, the maybe she'll she'll talk about the dating thing, but 
me being principled the way I am, mm. I, I, I believe in relationships from a godly perspective. I don't believe in 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 playing around. So I was pretty straight on marriage from the word go mm. because I don't believe the moment I create space, space mm. then I can pull out. It means I'm not committed. That's how I think. Because mm. if I just say, yeah, let's date, mm. then it means if I'm angry tomorrow, I can easily pull out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then how many times would I have, I, 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 would I have done that? So mm. give me a pretty straight. She didn't get the awesome proposal, <laughs> marriage proposal. That's <laughs> pretty straight. Anyway, yeah. that's why I'm not yeah, yeah. straight like this, but yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I was surprised and not surprprised at the same time. Oh. I saw the science. So oh, <laughs> <science. laughs> after he, he he spoke to me the following day, mm. um he came to my workplace. So um, we spoke. We just took a walk <laughs> and then we spoke. Um the part that I was not expecting was that he has already told me what I was like, What? <laughs> what will you not say about me? How can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. And I was like, I'm serious. Yeah. That is the reason I told him. And I was like, okay, let's go. And whenever I'm looked, it's at church, look at, looking at me, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But you know, um, it was a very good experience. Mm-hmm. Not long, they came to play La Bola, mm-hmm. and then it was the wedding. The wedding was supposed to be in October. It was good. Yeah. Yes, but um, unfortunately, it was not around, so we had to move it to January because uh, the venue was fully booked for the whole year. Mm. So by the grace of God, we thank God for January because we, cele- we celebrated everything together. You understand? Mm. Yes. Mm. We celebrated Valentine together, Good Friday together, mm. our birthdays together, mm. everything, okay, even Christmas birthdays. together. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Until this little one came. Yes, until, until this little one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Even this little one is celebrating everything with us. This is our story. This is our love journey. So our love journey was we met 209 and then we were friends. We dated 2017. Like mm. I said, stories of how when we started dating family secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but we dated. I was in Josie, she was in Polokwane, and we were and communicating then, via yeah. text. And then you came to Polokwane. Facebook, in what's June. up? June. You came into Polokwane in June 2017. We mm. started dating. Yeah. And then pretty much every every two weeks we were seeing each other. So because, every because, two weeks. Because you had to come to Josie for interviews. For job, I started getting job interviews in, in, in Jover. Yeah. So every two weeks I was in Jover, so we would see each other. Um, and if, if, I, want, if, if I'm not coming to Joburg, he's coming to Puluk. I would drive me. on a Saturday morning, double <laughs> five. Here eight, I'm in town, Puluk. And then 8 p.m. I'm driving there. The love one of Amara and the love. Guys, <laughs> oh, drunk a lot. Oh, Amara, like when you come back, when you come back after after seeing her, it's all over, 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 <laughs> but I was like, like, do you remember so, how yeah. we would just go to her? Uh, I didn't even mind. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you were in town, honey, you never saw anyone. Mm. But yeah, that, we did all of that. Then eventually, September 2017, mm. I moved to Joburg. And then once in Joburg, it became a thing of like, we see each other everything yeah. like we are i got to see a lot of jobber guys like yeah, when i first moved to jobber we were going out we'll, every night we we'll go almost <laughs> everywhere we'll go out like almost every night yeah. um so that was fun um, um how literally live with yeah because we were going before the end of the world because she had your friends i had my own yeah until we decided to make a decision only then did we yeah so it was like yeah it was a long it was a yeah it was a lot of yeah. a lot of back and forth so wow but anyways so yeah that's what happened and then um 20 
September 2018, we were like, cool, let's tell our parents we want to get married. We told our parents we want to get married. Mm. December 2018. Well. And then, April 2019, my parents was like, Tata! <laughs> Go! And then I was gone! Yeah. Uh, basically, and then yeah, I think that's pretty much our life journey. Eh? Exactly. Like it's not. So I don't think it's conventional. It's very much a. We were intentional. Like we knew we wanted what we wanted. So we like we knew hmm. after like six months. Well, after many years and a lot of months of just talking on the phone every, each and every day, hmm. we we're pretty much like okay, cool, we we'll dating. Exactly. And then exactly. after like seeing each other, after dating and seeing each other almost majority of the time, mm. but like we want to get married, we just get married. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. This is all. When we first, we've only been married. But the home first, like home first technicalities, I don't want to be involved. <laughs> for like three months, four months since no. the birth. Is it the birth? Yeah. I, I think know. it's a month. Certificate, so there's still a so, oh, first get to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're not going to be able to take the car. We're